The Run Now integration is a powerful tool in Uncanny Automator Pro that lets you run actions directly from the recipe edit page. Instead of having to choose a trigger, exit a recipe and wait for something to happen to trigger it, you can do things right from this page. So why would you want to do that? Run Now is going to be most useful when paired with the Loops feature because you can do things like generate reports, send emails, bulk update users, and more, all instantly. Let's walk through a sample recipe so you can see how it works. For this first example, maybe I want to add everyone that has completed a certain LearnDash course to a VIP membership in MemberPress. Doing something like this would normally take hours if you're doing it manually, but with Run Now, it's almost instant. As always, we'll start by naming the recipe. I'll call this one Add Graduates to VIP. Then we'll choose the Run Now integration. Notice that when I choose Run Now and its only trigger option, the recipe settings change on the right side so that there's a Run Now button. We won't use it yet, but that's how you initiate these recipes. Now we'll go ahead and add a loop because we want to run this recipe on users in bulk. Inside the loop, we'll choose Member Press. Then add an action to add the user to a membership. We'll keep this simple and choose VIP, then save the action. Of course, we want to run this on users that have completed a specific LearnDash course only, so we'll add a condition for that course. We'll click this filter button to do it, then LearnDash, and then in that LearnDash section, we'll choose the top option for the user completing a course. And now let's choose the correct course. Now my action is live, so I can just go and click the Run Now button. Then Automator will loop through all non-admin users that have completed the selected course and add them to the VIP membership. Let's try it. When we initiate a Run Now recipe, this modal window pops up. This confirms that Automator is hard at work running the actions and the recipe can't be edited until it completes. The reason it can't be edited is so that changes we make don't affect queued actions that might not have been run yet. You can visit the logs though to check the progress of your recipe. Let's do that now. For this test, you can see how many users were processed in the loop, how long it took, and the results of the recipe run. There are a huge number of exciting use cases for the Run Now integration. In this recipe, we can click the Run Now button and generate a report in Google Sheets listing everyone with an Uncanny Owl email address that has purchased a specific WooCommerce product. In this next recipe, we're looping through our course instructors and sending them an email about a new course. Each time this loops through a user, Automator pulls data for that user, so you can see how we're using the email token to send the email to each user with the group leader role. We know you'll discover even more creative and useful examples for your own sites, and we invite you to share some of your own in the comments below.